Good afternoon class, this is Dr. Michael Moran, your instructor for IT140 Intro to Scripting at Southern New Hampshire University. Today I'm going to talk about dictionaries. Module 6, uh, just, you know, to talk about the Module 6 milestone. You obviously want to read that. But the part I want to talk about is this down here. They give you a Python dictionary. So what I would do if I were you, I would just copy all that into PyCharm or your editor of choice and let's start experimenting with it. So I've done that here. I copied their dictionary into PyCharm. And so we were introduced to dictionaries in Zybooks week two, but we learn more about it in week six. So combining what they've given us for the dictionary, for the rooms, for the game, and our knowledge from weeks two and six, let's see if we can make some sense out of all this. So they give you a dictionary with a key value pair setup of the key being the room and the value is a dictionary. And that dictionary contains a direction, a cardinal direction, north, east, south, west, north, east, south, and west, right? And a room that you would go to if you took that direction. So in the Great Hall, if you go south, it'll take you to the bedroom. If you're in the bedroom, you go north, it goes back to the Great Hall. Or you can go east to the cellar. If you're in the cellar, you can only go west back to the bedroom. The map that they give you here. Great Hall, Great Hall, it goes south to the bedroom, bedroom. If you're in the bedroom, you can go north back to the Great Hall or east to the cellar. Here's the bedroom, north back to the Great Hall. Or bedroom can go, if you go east, it takes you to the cellar. And of course, the cellar, you can only go west back to the bedroom. So that's described in our dictionary. Now, can we learn something programmatically about our dictionary? And what do we get when we use Python on this dictionary? All right, so first, let's go ahead and print the contents of the room itself, of the room's dictionary. Okay, so we have that, that works. Yes, we can do more. Let's use the keys function. The dictionary in Python supports the keys function, which will give you the list of keys for your dictionary. And there's two ways to do this. We can call keys or we can use the unpacking option with the asterisks as described in my list video earlier. This is a form of syntactic sugar. You can look that up if you're curious. So let's see what we get here. Let's run this. All right, so I have in my rooms dictionary three keys and they display here. The great hall, bedroom, and the cellar. All right, and if I use syntactic sugar, the asterisk for unpacking, the same strings show up here. All right, if we use, if we call keys, you get a dictionary keys object. Look that up if you want to learn more about that. It has a bunch of methods that are that um, allow, allow you to iterate through or get the values from the dictionary keys object. All right, so let's go a little bit further. So we know what the keys look like. Can we get the, root, the uh, values from the dictionary? Yep, same process. Instead of calling dot keys, call dot values off your dictionary. And of course, unpacking does still work. Okay, but this time I'm gonna unpack off the values. So let's see what we get. Let's print both these lines out and see the results. Okay, and there we go. So this is no, this should be no surprise. Our dictionary has values, and as we discussed earlier, these values that relate to the keys, these values are dictionaries. So what we really have here is a dictionary of dictionary. Dictionary is plural. So we have a dictionary, that's the room's dictionary. 
where each key points to itself another dictionary. You can tell they're dictionaries because they have the curly braces, right? All right, so that works. We can print the values and of course the keys of our dictionary. But we have, as shown here, these values themselves are dictionaries. Can we dig in further and get more details on these more complicated child values? Yes, we can. So let's comment, uncomment this section. And here we go. Let's see what we have here. First, let's see what we're doing here. For every key in my room's dictionary, we're going to do something with that key. When we print the key itself and whatever it's pointing to, whatever value that is. Let's try that. All right. So in our dictionary, there's a key, and it is pointing to, look at that. So what is that? South, if you recall, that is a cardinal direction. Great Hall itself contains a value. This is pointing to a value, and this value is a dictionary. And this dictionary has itself key value pairs. Okay, so the keys in these child dictionaries are cardinal directions, and the cardinal directions point to a destination room, a destination locale. So when we go back here, when I printed out the key, I then printed this little arrow, and then I wanted to see what came back from that. And there we have it. Our key, what are the keys that are related to it? Child keys. In this case, the Great Hall, we, we have south. The bedroom, we have obviously two directions, north and east, which we saw earlier on the map. And the cellar, we can only go west. All right. Interesting, but can I do more? Yes. So now we're going to say for every child key, right? Print out what its value is, what the value is for that key, that child key. Here we go. So this is a little more clear in that we're saying for each key in my room's dictionary, so basically for every room we have here, print out every possible key of the children that are connected to the room. And as you can see, for Great Hall, we only have South. That's the only key, child key, of this value. This is really a value, right? This is a dictionary of dictionaries. This dictionary holds a room called Great Hall, and it contains the value of this dictionary. And that's the key for that child right there. Bedroom has two child keys associated with it, right? Bedroom is a key, it has a value of this entire dictionary. That child dictionary has two keys. One is called North and one is labeled East. There they are. And then finally, Cellar has just a child key of West. Easy. This should be hopefully easy to understand. And if you don't like it to do it that way, you can use the unpacking. Okay. And you get similar results. Okay. So we have what we have demonstrated here. I've demonstrated here are ways to look at the room's dictionary. But can we do more? Yes, of course. We can always do more. We've shown the keys of the children, south, north, east, west. Can we get the values for those child dictionaries? Yes, we can. I want to see stuff like the destination room names 
is there a way to get that information? Yep, so we can definitely do that. So let's go ahead and look at the next chunk of code. All right. And we are almost done here. All right, so now before I was looking at the keys data. Okay. Now we're going to look at the values. So let's comment that out and let's look at the values. So for each key in my rooms dictionary, for each key I want to look at its values. Let's look at that. For each key we look at its values and here we are. So what do we have? We have the grade hall and the only child value associated with it is the bedroom. That makes sense if we look at the dictionary. The grade hall is a key. Its child is this dictionary. Its value is this dictionary, right? And that dictionary itself has a key value pair. And what we've done here is we've isolated the values associated with that dictionary that's associated with the room itself. It can get kind of complicated. Try to stay with me here if you can. We've done the same thing with the next key, the bedroom. We're looking at the values associated with it. Great hall, cellar, and the same thing for the cellar itself. All right, so that is a way to see what's there. The values in our dictionary, cool. Um, but these come back as dictionary value objects. Is there another way to look at this, right? Yep, just like before, we can iterate through all this, okay? We did that earlier for the keys, if you recall. Now we're going to iterate through the values. Same process. There you go. Can we use unpacking? Yes, we can to get basically the same information. Here's the unpacking operation right there. Let's go ahead and run that. Before we do, notice that the great hall points to a bedroom. Bedroom points back to the great hall. Can point to the cellar. The cellar points back to the bedroom. Same stuff like in the map that they showed you. Run this. There we go. Here we see via unpacking the values just like before. Okay, so this is another way to look at the contents of the children in your rooms dictionary. All right, and in the next video, I will talk about the game loop. Hope this helps you. Have a great day. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.